If you have ever tried to replace the screen in a moving shot, whether that be on a phone, on a TV, or a computer, or even a billboard, then you'll know what a pain it is to make it look believable. It's easier and more accurate than ever before to create convincing looking composites like this with the BCC transform effect from Boris FX. Sure, you can do it without the need for plugins, but it takes a really long time and the results are not as good. Have a look at the side-by-side -side comparison and you'll notice how jittery the result is on the version without using the plugin and it took easily five times longer to do. To do corner pinning without a plugin, you could use the distort tool and drag each of these four corners until the video lines up properly and then create keyframes for each point in the inspector window. Then you would move forward and adjust each corner again. If there's a fair amount of movement, you might need to do this frame by frame to get the corners right. And even then the corners won't be identical on each frame. So you would land up with a jittery composite that just looks bad. But if you use the BCC transform plugin from Boris FX, which is part of Boris FX's continuum pack, more on that later, you can easily track all four points independently. So you need to create a compound clip of the clip you want to use for the composite first, then you add the BCC transform plugin. Next, you'll open up the motion parameter tracking window and this window will pop up. There are two different masks here. The first one is this blue one, which sets the corner pin area. So I'll drag each of these points here to adjust the area that we want to replace. I can hold down the Z key and click and drag to zoom in so I can be more accurate with the mask. I can also hold down X to drag around to each point and I'll just adjust them like this. And when I'm happy with all four points, I can zoom back out. The second mask is the corner pin search area and this is essentially the area that will be tracked to help keep the corner pin in place. So I'll just adjust this around the screen of the MacBook like this. You can also enable the grid here which will show you the plane that is going to be tracked and that looks pretty good. I'll disable that and then because I'm essentially tracking the perspective of the screen, I want to make sure that the skew and perspective options are enabled under my track motion options. Then I'll track forwards and you can see the mocha tracking in action. I'll zoom in a little while it's tracking and you can see some drift happening on the points. This is pretty common when corner pinning, but Boris FX has the easiest way to counter that drift that I've ever seen. Now that my track is done, I will change the view from essentials to classic to show a few more advanced options. I'll go back to the beginning of the clip where I know the corner pinning was accurate and I'll click on perspective to make sure that all of these transform types are selected and then I'll click on create points and these little purple points are created for each corner. This is essentially creating another layer of keyframes within the track, if you will. Then I can go to the end of my clip and select the first point. At the top here, you can see the reference frame that was used for the track and the current frame shows where that corner pinpoint is currently set to. Now you can use your arrow keys to nudge the point left, up, right or down, or better yet, you can click on this auto button right here and watch how it just snaps into place. I can repeat this process for the rest of the points by selecting the point and clicking on auto. This auto feature saves so much time. If you feel like you need to adjust the corner pin anywhere else in the clip, you can simply create new points in the same way. Then you need to save the tracking information by clicking on this button and then you can close the window. Now this looks weird right now because we've got the effect applied to the main clip but all I need to do is copy the clip, deactivate the effect in my inspector window, and then drag the clip I want to replace the screen with on top of this clip. I'll trim it to the same duration and then hit Command Shift V to paste attributes. I'll make sure BCC transform is selected and I'll hit paste. There is a slight edge that we're seeing below our clip here, and that's because the mask was right on the edge of the screen and the MacBook. So I'll just scale this clip up from 100 to 100.5%, and that will get rid of the edge. I'll play that back, and now we have a perfectly tracked corner pin to replace the screen in a fraction of the time it would take to do manually. The BCC Transform plugin is part of Boris FX Continuum subscription, which has over 100 powerful effects for Final Cut Pro and includes mocha masking. If you're not a fan of subscriptions, you can also purchase individual units of effects, like the Stylize unit, for example, which has a bunch of really cool effects like light, video glitch, prism, light leaks, film grunge, film glow, rays, camera shake, and smear blur. But 
BCC Transform is only available in the Continuum subscription. The cool thing is that mocha masking is included in all of these effects, so you can track objects in your footage and create accurate masks to produce some really cool effects like isolating a glitch to an object and not the whole screen, for example. So go ahead and click on the link down below to try it out for yourself and you can get a cheeky little discount if you use the coupon code. If you want to try mocha masking for free in Final Cut Pro, then you have to watch this video next on Boris FX's free BCC Looks plugin. That way you can see for yourself how powerful mocha tracking is and how you can use the plugins in the stylized unit to create some really incredible effects right inside Final Cut Pro.